Welcome back to The Math Guy, everybody. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to solve one-step equations that involve addition and negative numbers. Let's go. Okay, so first, let's just look at our equation here and try and identify any features that we see. So this T represents our variable, our unknown value, and at the moment, it's connected to this plus 13. Then we have our equal sign, showing that everything on either side of the equal sign is therefore balanced. And on this other side, I have a negative 30. So in order to find the value of t, I need to get t on its own. But at the minute, like we said, it's connected to this positive 13. So the only way to get rid of this positive 13 is by cancelling it out by inserting a negative 13 to that side of the equation. So let's rewrite that side and have t plus 13 negative 13 equals and then because I've inserted a negative 13 to one side, I have to then put it on the other side to keep my equation balanced. So I would have negative 30 minus 13. And now when I look at my equation, I can see that on this left-hand side, I have a plus 13 and a negative 13. Well, plus 13 and negative 13 will cancel themselves out, and we're gonna end up with just t on its own. So therefore, t equals negative 30 minus 13. Well, we have negative 30, and we're going even further down, getting even more of a negative, so we're gonna be going further down the number line, and we'll end up with negative 43. So in this case, t equals negative 43. Let's have a look with a second example. Now on this side, we have the negative 15 on the left-hand side. And then on this right-hand side, I have my variable that's connected currently to an adding negative 4. So again, to get this variable on its own, we need to break this connection to the adding negative 4. And the only way we can do that is by putting the inverse. So in order to get the inverse of the adding negative 4, we're going to insert a subtract negative 4. And by putting that subtract negative 4 on this side, I therefore have to put it on the other side as well. So I put my subtract negative four on that side too. So my new line would read negative 15 subtract negative four equals B plus negative four minus negative four. Now when we look at this right hand side, we can see that the plus negative four and the subtract negative four will cancel themselves out and equal zero. So I'm left with just b, but on this left-hand side, it can be quite difficult to see what to do here because we have negative 15 subtract negative 4. Well, the other way we can think about it is when we are in negative, we are essentially owing someone value. So at the moment, we owed somebody 15. We were in debt. We had a negative 15. But then we're taking away part of that debt. We're taking away a negative 4. So actually what we're doing is we're going to come up the number line. We're getting rid of some of that debt. So if we had negative 15 and we're getting rid of a negative 4, we actually come up and we end up at negative 11, a higher value than the negative 15. So negative 11 equals B, or in other words, B equals negative 11. Adding and subtracting negatives, such as here, can be quite difficult. So I'm going to link a video that specifically works on that in the title, and in the description below. So if you are a little bit unsure about that, be sure to check that out. Okay, let's look at what to remember. Our first job was we're gonna try and isolate this variable. So in the first case, we can look at this T and we're trying to isolate it away from this plus 13. How do we do that? Well, we must insert a negative 13. But whatever we do to one side, we must therefore do to the other, and then we can just solve to find the variable value. And there you go. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, please think about subscribing. Share this video with someone that you think would struggle with this skill too. But for now, peace out. Welcome back to The Maths Guy. Today we're looking at one-step equations that involve negative numbers and subtraction. Let's go. Okay, so we can see that we have two examples here that we're gonna look at today. And we can see that both of them involve variables as in an unknown value, and negative numbers, as well as subtraction. So what are we trying to do when we're trying to solve a one-step equation? Well, we want to get this variable on its own to understand the value of it. At the moment, this variable is connected to this subtract 13, so we need to find a way to get it on its own. 
Well, what we're going to remember today is that we need to isolate the variable by using the inverse. So at the moment we have a negative 13 or a subtract 13. So what's the opposite of subtraction? Addition. So if we want to get rid of this negative 13 or subtract 13, we need to put on this side a plus 13. But now what we've done is we've made our equation unbalanced because we've just added a plus 13 to the left hand side and left the right hand side as it is. So to make it balanced again, we have to put a plus 13 on this side too. Okay, and now I can begin to solve my equation. So looking at this first left hand side, my negative 13 plus my positive 13 cancel themselves out and equal zero. So I'm left with just t on its own. So therefore t equals negative 17 plus 13. Now this might be a little bit hard to get your head around and if you're not too confident with negative numbers, I'm gonna link a video that specifically goes through negative numbers in the description. So check that out if you need some help with it. But really what we need to think about is we're on negative 17 and we are adding a positive 13. So we're gonna be coming back up the number line in a positive way and we will end up at negative four. So therefore t equals negative four. What we can do just to double check our work is we can look back at our question and we can put negative four in the place of t. So let's rewrite it over here and I'd have negative four subtract 13 equals negative 17. And one way to help us is by drawing a number line. So I'm gonna do that now. There we go. So we start with negative four and we're coming 13 places down the number line. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, landing me on negative 17. So we know we're right. Okay, let's look at this second question then. This time I have 15 equals B subtract negative four. So this time my B, my variable, is connected to a subtract negative four. So here's our subtraction. How do I get rid of the subtraction? That's right, I'll use my inverse. So on this side, I must input a plus negative four. But remember, if I put that on one side, I need to put it on the other side too. So now I can look back at this right-hand side and I can see that my subtract negative four and my plus negative four, they're gonna cancel each other out and I'm just gonna be left with B on its own. So therefore, B equals 15 plus negative four. Again, if we're not too sure about how to use negative numbers, please make sure you look back at that negative number video so that you get a really good understanding as we're gonna go through this quite quickly. But essentially, if we were looking back on our number line, we're on 15 at the moment and I'm adding a negative four, so I'm gonna come down the number line and I'll end up with 11. So 11 equals B or B equals 11. And there you go. Let's just think about what to remember. First, we're gonna isolate the variable by canceling out the number it's connected to by using the inverse operation. And when subtracting a negative to a negative, we're gonna end up coming back up the number line, which can be a little bit hard to understand. If you need help, draw that number line. That'll help your mind understand exactly what you're doing. And there we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. In our next video, we're going to be looking at how to solve one-step equations involving negative multiples. So if you're not a subscriber already, be sure to subscribe and share this video with somebody that you think might need this little bit of help as well. But for now, peace out.